G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just another super short video today. We've got a 2014 Holden Cruise with a 1.6 litre turbo engine in with an engine light on and a code of P0599. So let's check it out and see what we found. Okay, so this is another good example of how TAT can be another good resource for obviously us when we're booking vehicles in. Obviously when we're booking vehicles in on our system, we've got our tabs open uh, as you can see here um, and we've got TAT already open. So if we've got a bit of time when we're booking a vehicle in, we can just have a quick look on TAT and have a look here. As you can see, we found the same vehicle with a similar code at the bottom, P0599 and it was the electronic uh, heater element that was the fault. So obviously you can't use this as a silver bullet and it's the same as, you know, looking at your auto data or your Haynes known, known fixes and TSBs and that sort of thing. So it's just another resource in our, in our arsenal of subscriptions. And you can't, you obviously you can't tunnel vision and then just focus on this just because it's already there. But because the heater element is very, very easy to get to and it's quick to test, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna test that the actual control of it, and we're gonna test the uh, the resistance of the heater element itself, and then we're gonna make a decision from there whether we continue to focus on that or we look elsewhere. So I'll show you what we ended up finding with this thing. So as you can see here, well, first we disconnected the connector and we just confirmed that we had command there. So obviously we do have a working command. Uh, obviously this is a duty cycle control pulse with modulated signal. So we just wanted to make sure that we were having that as well. So we went over to our duty cycle setting and we were able to obviously change the command with our bi-directional controls. And as you can see that our duty cycle does change as we apply the increase increment. So we knew that we were getting a good command. So the next thing is to turn to the heater element itself and check the resistance of it. And here you can see we just got the probes on the two terminals on the heater element itself. And you can see that uh, we've only got three ohms and we know already that's, that's going to be low and that ties in with our P0599 um, high voltage. Obviously we've got a really, really low resistance and it's sensing the high voltage and that's why the code is coming on. So we get a new one in and um, have a look at the new one. You can see that they are meant to be around the 15 ohm mark. So the new one's on and um, code's cleared, cooling system bled and all okay. So just another super quick one, guys. Obviously this was a pretty simple diagon repair, but it just goes to show you that TAC can be a great resource and great addition to our arsenal when we're you know, trying to find information on vehicles. Um, yeah, so if you're not a part of TAC, just jump on board and you know join the community. It's actually a really great community and uh, it's relatively great price compared to your other subscriptions. So have a look, www.tat.net.au. Thanks and we'll see you next time.